The birth of phonics happened when Alexander Graham Bell invented the first phone and was granted a patent on his new product in March of 1876. When Bell created the telephone he knew he had created something that would eventually change the lives of everyone. The first ever portable phone. The first ever portable mobile phone in the shape of the Motorola Dyna TAC-8000X. It cost 4,000 US dollars and was unsurprisingly a huge status symbol at the time. This all changed in 1992 when Nokia launched its 1011 model, the first mobile phone that could be used anywhere in the world this was thanks to its ability to access the Global System for Mobile Communication GSM, network. IBM's Simon Personal Communicator is widely considered as the world's first smartphone. Way ahead of its time, the IBM Simon featured a touchscreen display and countless pre-installed apps such as an address book, calculator, calendar, digital notepad, world clock, and more. This was the first phone of its kind, marking the start of Nokia's legendary communicator line. It also served as inspiration for RIM, the mobile phone company that made its name amongst business professionals throughout the mid-2000s with the BlackBerry brand. The 9000 communicator featured a full QWERTY keyboard as well as being one of the first phones with the ability to send and receive emails and fax via its GSM modem. Motorola released the first model from its StarTac line, also one of the first phones to be branded as a luxury product. It featured in advertising campaigns alongside other luxury items such as the American Express Gold Card, as well as appearing in numerous films, such as Nicolas Cage's 8mm. It weighed just 88 grams and was small enough to fit in your pocket. Another notable phone that was released in 1996 was the Nokia 8110, nicknamed the Banana due to its curved profile. It attracted a lot of attention from consumers due to the fact that it was so easy to use, one of the very first slider phones. Siemens rocked the world when it launched its S10 model in 1997, the first mobile phone with a full-color screen. It displayed up to six lines of information in four different colors, white, red, blue, and green. Three years after Nokia launched its communicator line, BlackBerry entered the professional mobile phone market with its first model, the BlackBerry 850, although at this time the brand was called RIM. In 1999, Nokia also re-entered the slider phone market with its 7110 model. Similar to the 8110 model, this phone featured a sliding cover over its keypad which allowed users to easily accept and end calls. Following the turn of the millennium, mobile technology developments really started to pick up pace. Japanese tech company Sharp released the Sharp JSH04 under the JPhone brand in November 2000. Arguably the most iconic Nokia model of all time with over 125 million models sold, the year 2000 marked the release of Nokia's 3310. It featured screensavers, customizable ringtones, and even the option to add a welcome message. It was famous for its long battery life and sturdy design. Mobile technology advancements really started to pick up the pace in 2003, starting with the release of Nokia's monumental 1100 model. On the surface it was a fairly basic mobile phone, offering little more than calls, texts, and other standard features such as an alarm clock and Snake 2. The BlackBerry 6210, also known as the Quark, was named by Time magazine as one of the most influential gadgets of the time. BlackBerry's widely popular instant messaging service that had well over 150 million users at its peak. 2005 marked the year that Sony partnered with Ericsson to release the first mobile phone under the famous Walkman brand, made famous through its portable cassette players throughout the 80s and 90s. The W800 was one of the very first phones on the market to priorities music, possibly as a result of the iPod's recent success. 
Nokia launched its N95 model back in March 2007, sparking the start of the smartphone craze. Boasting 160 megabytes of internal memory with the option to add up to 8 gigabytes on a micro SD card as well as a set of dedicated media controls for watching films and listening to music, it was clear how much thought the manufacturers had put into it. One of the standout features of this phone was its 5 megapixel camera. As most of you will know, one of the main factors for Nokia's demise was the launch of Apple's iPhone. First launching in June 2007, priced from $499 for a two-year contract, Apple managed to sell over 6 million units. HTC launched its Dream G1 model, also known as the T-Mobile Dream G1 in some areas, in September 2008. Whilst the phone itself was nothing extraordinary for its time, featuring a QWERTY keyboard, a touchscreen and a few buttons for key features. BlackBerry launched its Curve 8520 model in 2009, further reinforcing its transformation from a business-focused to a consumer-focused manufacturer. Following the phone's release, BlackBerry sales spiked, going from just under 20 million units sold in 2008 to 50 million in 2010. Arguably one of the most successful phone lines in history, Samsung launched the very first Galaxy S in June 2010. With 16 gigabytes of storage, a 1 gigahertz ARM Hummingbird processor, and a MOLE touchscreen, a 5 megapixel camera, and a 0.3 megapixel front camera. Released in 2013, the Nokia Lumia 1020 is still known as one of the most powerful camera phones on the market. At a whopping 41 megapixels, this incredible phone has been described as able to replace the digital camera and as a compact camera with some phone features tacked onto it. It runs on the Windows Phone 8 operating system and has received several software and firmware updates over the years. Over two decades after the first flip phone, the StarTac by Motorola, Royal introduced the world to the first foldable smartphone, a month before Samsung's Infinity Flex display concept. March 2019, the Global Mobile Suppliers Association released the industry's first database tracking worldwide 5G device launches. On March 4, 2019, the first ever all 5G smartphone Samsung Galaxy S10 was released. What technology phone will come in future? Write in comments and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.